Okay, class, after exhausting different theories for the formation of the Rift Valley, let us look at advantages and disadvantages of Rift Valleys. Rift Valleys have got both advantages and disadvantages. Let us begin with advantages. Rift Valleys attract tourists. They promote tourism, and this helps the country to earn foreign exchange. Rift Valleys promote research and fieldwork. Geographers can visit these Rift Valley areas. They study about escarpments, clouds, grabbings, etc. Rift Valley lakes contain pastures for animals. So they promote animal grazing. Rift valleys contain fertile soils and thus promote crop growing. High electric power can be generated or is generated on escarpments and waterfalls in case rivers are flowing across those escarpments. Uh, they are flat and therefore can allow recreational activities like sports. Rift Valley lakes promote fishing, and you know, for example, in Lake Chibu there is fishing, Lake Tanganyika, and fish is food for man. Rift Valley lakes promote what uh, provide, they provide water for home use and industrial use. For example, Lake Chivu provides water for Uralirwa industry and at the same time for domestic use. Rift Valley lakes provide or promote navigation, water transport. Some Rift Valleys or Rift Valley lakes promote mining. Take an example. There is methane gas from Lake Chivu and I think oil in Lake Arbat. Advantages of Rift Valley lakes. They have steep escarpments which promote soil erosion. These steep escarpments can also promote mass wasting and landslides, which can destroy people's lives and properties. Escarpments hinder settlements because it is risky and expensive to construct on those escarpments. Escarpments again hinder road construction. Thank you.